The objective of the basic FEA user profile is to allow users from the novice to expert level to run a broad range of simple analyses. We aim to bring the power of our solver to a wider user base using a streamlined process-based approach and allow users to import and run immediately by starting with defaults and letting the user change them rather than create new ones. Sometimes you need a quick solution, but with the basic FEA user profile, you have the power of HyperMesh behind you. The basic FEA user profile is the shortest path from CAD to solvable model. It allows any CAD to be imported and will read the units from the file and adjust its environment accordingly. Files are opened directly from the right-click menu in the browser. Basic FEA allows different types of files to be opened including CAD files, HyperMesh files, and neutral file formats. For this example, an HM file was opened into session. The basic FEA profile takes solid parts from the CAD data, automatically organizes them, and sets default materials and properties. The materials and properties can then be edited to set up the analysis. Once the file is opened, the units are read in off the geometry. The model is organized based on the solid and parts are created. A default material is also assigned to the parts created. Here is an example of a model that is organized into two parts. Notice that each part has a material assigned. Basic FEA also contains a material database with 14 common materials to choose from. It also allows the user to create their own user-defined materials to be saved for future instances. All materials will convert between our unit systems. The list of included materials is available in the right-click menu. The database is also opened from this menu. The basic FEA material database lists the available materials in the units of the selected system. User-defined materials can also be added to the database using this window. Once created, the user-defined material is added to the database for future use. Once defined, the user-defined material is added to one of the parts in the model. The basic FEA environment contains four sets of unit systems to choose from and convert between. A default unit system is applied to the part upon opening. The units can be set and converted between the four sets of available units. If the unit system can't be deciphered from the CAD model, basic FEA has simple visual tools that help you inspect the dimensions of your geometry so you can scale your model appropriately and choose a unit system that you want to work in. The dimensions are easily displayed on the model from the toolbar. From the right-click menu in the browser, the units can be scaled to fit the needs of the analysis. Contacts and load steps are set up with editable defaults to ensure a solvable model. A straightforward contact setup interface is available from the browser which allows users to select parts for part-to-part -part contact definitions or simply pick from the screen. An auto contact searching algorithm will find parts that contact one another and assign them each to a tied contact. Three contact types are available from the right-click menu in the browser. New tied contact, new sliding contact, and auto contact. In this example, a tied contact was created using the auto contact algorithm between part A and part B. For the first release of basic FEA, four solution types are available, linear static, normal modes, buckling, and sliding contact. The analysis type is set through the right-click menu. The four types are now available in the menu, linear static, normal modes, buckling, and sliding contact. Choosing them from the right-click menu will create the load steps for that analysis type. For this example, the normal modes analysis is run. If more advanced setup is needed, the regular menus of HyperMesh are available at the click of a button. Mesh size and type are calculated during import of the model, and the model is automatically meshed before it is solved. No manual interaction is needed. The volume calculation of the model determines the mesh size for the mesh created. Once the analysis is complete, Simple post-processing can be done within HyperMesh within the basic FEA profile, but a link to HyperView is available should advanced post-processing be needed. 
Here the results contour is applied to the model within HyperMesh. If needed, the HyperView button is clicked for advanced post-processing within HyperView. Once in HyperView, all post-processing tools are available for the results. Here we see the contour displayed within HyperView.